Hello, I'm Danielle. Today we're gonna to be doing some singing for stress relief. You don't have to worry about whether you feel comfortable singing in front of other people or whether you feel comfortable with your voice at all because we are focusing on the health benefits of singing for our minds and our bodies. So, some of the basic but most amazing things that happen to us when we sing are that our respiration starts to become fuller and slower our heart rates start to relax. Our brains release dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter that helps you connect thoughts faster. It also releases oxytocin, which is an endorphin that makes you feel happy. And it decreases the release of cortisol, our stress hormone that makes us feel stressed. So as a result, you feel less stress from singing. That's a pretty easy fix, and we're gonna be doing this today. First, I'd like you to think about the positioning of your body. So find a standing position or sitting where you're nice and straight and elongated. Try not to have anything around you so that you can inhale fully. Also, if your lower back is kind of curved out, try to think about tilting your pelvis forward so that from your tailbone to the top of your head is one long straight line. Let's lift our shoulders up and relax them down, and we'll fill up our air from our bellies up. Filling up. Let's release on a simple loo. Good. It doesn't matter how long you go at first, but we're gonna be doing a few, so I'd like you to see if you can stretch it out a little longer each time. Now let's add on to this. Imagine that when you're inhaling, you're filling up all the way around you, like you're filling up an inner tube around your body, and your stomach is pushing out like you're expanding your belly first. So let's give that a try. And then on the exhale, relax the shoulders and imagine that you're singing through a straw. If you use that straw imagery, you might notice that your stomach muscles naturally engage to control the airflow out. So we're gonna try this all again. Fill up from the belly up first all the way around you, relax the shoulders, engage the stomach muscles, and here we go. Awesome. Okay, so if you notice that your voice is going, then you're pushing a little too much air. If you notice that your voice is going, then you're not lifting up and engaging the stomach muscles enough. So you gotta find the balance between that and that is up to you and your body. So as you practice this, try to remember to keep it straight in the middle. And you can just pick a note, any note, and go from there. Next, let's work on singing from our diaphragm. Now the diaphragm is a muscle that is between your rib cage and when you inhale, it expands the rib cage out to let your lungs expand. And then when you exhale, it pushes underneath to help your lungs push all the air out. That's kind of hard for me to feel. So we're just gonna use our ab muscles in general as a whole. And the easiest way to do this is to just do a big belly laugh. If you've ever had a big belly laugh with your friends and then your stomach muscles actually hurt afterwards, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't experienced that, now's the time. So let's just fill up from our bellies up and we're gonna do some ha, 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 okay? Now just try to get that belly laugh feeling as best you can. Don't worry about sounding silly, we're doing this for us. Fill up from the bottom up. And here we go. Good. Did you get the sensation of it? Okay, we're going to try a warm up with this where we go ha 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 ha. Now, rather than worrying about sounding pretty, 
I'd like you to just focus on that gust of air for each one using your stomach muscles. It might be a little bit of an ab workout. Here we go. Ha, 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 going up. Ha, 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 going up. Ha, 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 one more. Ha, 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 good. Practice this and the more strength you give behind it, you'll get a little more power behind that note and a little more volume. You won't have to worry about straining your voice as much. So this is really helpful even for public speaking. This can help you feel more comfortable using your voice without feeling like you're straining your voice. So even if you're just talking to somebody and they can't quite hear you and you have to get a little louder, think more about using your stomach muscles to push more air rather than just trying to project your voice otherwise, okay? You can also do this on one long note where you're gradually getting louder. That is a little bit harder and will take a little bit more practice, but we'll try a couple here. Imagine filling up from the bottom ups, starting your air softly like you're blowing on a pinwheel and making that pinwheel get faster and faster and faster and faster as you increase your airflow. Here we go. Did you hear how I got louder? All I was doing was pushing more air and it naturally made me sound louder. Let's try it again on one more on an ah. Uh, uh. Good. Do you feel comfortable with it? Just try it a couple of times on your own and you'll get a little more comfortable and a little bit stronger every day. Thank you for singing with me today. I hope you now feel more comfortable with your voice.